欢迎晚上好，我们今天要玩 Forget Me Not 调色盘 ，or as we know in English Forget Me Not Palette. So tonight we will be playing a a very short game compared to the previous games we've already played up to now.、Um, we're going. It will be.、Um, let's see. Oh, and please let me know if the picture is too dark or if you can't see anything. But yes, it is a short game. It was the this game is originally in Japanese, so you can hear the Japanese audio as well, as as well throughout this、um, playthrough. But it the game this version of the game, which is、um, let's see, so the original name of the game is Palette, which is and it was made on RPG Maker for, back in 1995. And、uh, let's see, what else was I gonna say? And so it actually won an award for ASCII, and he and the High Illusion. Um, the original creator, whose name is like is like Nishida Yoshitaka, he was the one. He made the game, the original game RPG Maker, and he got a a hundred thousand yen, which is about ten thousand, like a mil. Like he ba basically got the equivalent of a hundred thousand US dollars, and with that, he was able to remake the game for the PlayStation. So now it doesn't use RPG Maker assets like the original game did. And yes, as you notice, I've、uh, there's a bit of a ch you notice there's a bit of a setup change from what. I normally use the chat's different, looks nicer than before, and you may notice that my camera,、uh, let's see, the footage for my camera looks pretty good, and that's because I've actually upgraded not only the capture device, and but I've also upgraded the camera. So now the camera can show proper lighting, and it, in H in HD. But although we're not actually filming this in HD, and I've also changed the dimensions of the video so that it will upload to YouTube without getting YouTube mangling it. Which was happening to, which will be happening to all videos being uploaded to YouTube right at this moment, but、um, don't worry about that for now. But it cuts off my words. I know though, huh? You can't see the rest of your. Well, yeah, it's a little bit. Unfortunately, because of the the footage change, we had to cut. I had to cut the chat, make the chat a bit thinner, but it's a lot easier to see. So,、uh, don't worry about it. At least, like for the posterity, they're more concerned about what I was responding to at the time. I also have another chat window open so I can see what's going on. But anyway,、um, I also introduced this. This is the new capture device.、Um, it's not the best quality at the moment because it's I'm missing some cables to convert this PlayStation's signal. So unfortunately, I think for the first half of、um, Palette, we'll have to deal with lower quality. But I think once I have my cables, I'll be able to show the game. And it's real with full high quality video until the cables come. I can't do that, so this is we'll have to deal with it for now. But that means Paper Mario will be filmed even better. Look, and it'll look better than Lunar and、uh, Soul Blazer did and Popful Mail. But anyway, so to get back on the story of Pallet, Pallet was remade for the PlayStation and it was released in two thousand one with the help of publisher Enterbrain. And、uh, let's see, what else am I gonna say? And、um, let's see. And yes, this is the version of the game we'll be playing. So unfortunately, the only the original game, it was made on.、Um, only the original game was translated into English. And frankly, I've seen the translation for the English version. It's kind of bare bones. They even cut out some details in the chat, and I was very surprised too. I was thought like, you'd think they make it higher quality, but the person is just kind of like, well, they kind of did. A, I feel like it's not. The best job I've ever seen for translation. I was comparing with the original Japanese, and so this Chinese version is really, really is like much, much better. It looks they trans. The, you can tell that the people who translated this game, translated into Chinese, was were really like.、Um, Tanya says hi, but no guarantee. Oh well, I, I'm if she can't, she can't. And、um, uh, Zio Corvid's on her way here eventually. She'll be back soon enough. And、um, anything else I wanted to say? Yes. So we will be trans. So well, we will not be playing the Japanese version, but we're playing the Chinese translation of the Japanese version. So there will be Japanese audio, but there will be Chinese subtitles, and I'll translate as best as I can. And incidentally, let me bring up that wind other window. I do have the entire intro translated. So if I need to, I have. Yeah, she'll be. She's not out of town. I don't understand. And so I have the translation, but for now, first we'll be hearing the the voice version. The intro is actually shown twice. Once 
in the intro video and once as a t text you can skip through. I'll translate the text you can skip through, but I will let the intro video play out without interrupting it. But anyway, um, let's get started. I think this is a great time to get going. And uh, all right. So we're going to start in three, two, one. Let's start. I'm just going to let the intro video play and I won't comment too much on anything. Also, hopefully, hopefully the audio doesn't skip too much. I'm using a burnt CD, so it's not the greatest. It's my laser's okay, but yeah, I wish I had an SD card to do this stuff. Okay, I'll be shut now. Here goes intro. Actually, I just realized something. You guys listen to the vi the video. I'll be back. Hayato for boyfriend. Not quite ancient, but hmm. You say 90s quality, but this game was made, published in 2001. Anyway, Detective Conan is not too far off. We're going to be starting pretty with a bang. But first, that's only the first intro video. This is game is forget me not tiao si pan which translates to tiao si pan sorry i'm s apparently i can't read apparently i put plate instead of ban but anyway it means forget me not pout all right you get to hear the um, japanese audio first let's see how good your japanese audio is uh, disney skills are <laughs> Sevutsunakuniwite しかし、一方で生物は記憶を削除する。覚えていることより忘れたことの方が多いのが普通である。物置にも収納する限度があるということだろう。それでは削除された記憶はどこへ行ってしまうのだろうか。Pretty good illusion. You you have some of an idea. まさかゴミに出してしまったなんてことはないだろう。余談だが、私の友人は物置いっぱいにガラクタを捨てられずにしまっている。彼は物置に入りきらなくなったガラクタを神様に内緒でこっそり別な場所に隠したらしい。捨
ひそやかにそれは心のどこかに隠されているのである息を殺し Pretty good. Oh, yeah. 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 I sense plot of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Um, you might not actually be far off, Dexmonicus. I would. I'll. This is. You're not actually too far off from what that's about. Anyway, uh, we should be back in the title screen. I am also going to ignore. I already tested the game and made sure that I could save. I'm also going to turn vibration on. And I actually have already have a save game to test the game. Don't worry. I'll help you out, Illusion Queen. I'm going to bring up the amazing translation just so I can prepare. And 3, 2, 1, let's begin. Nishida Yoshitaka is the creator. And he was the. I think most of the dialogue is actually the same throughout for both versions. But I think, yes. Anyway. Let's go. New game. Begin. You can tell it's a... So this is the same as that intro video you did. It's just in text form so I can actually talk over it. Why are memories necessary for living organisms? In the this, in this st study of biology, memories are defined as... Data stored that can be used for determining actions for the purpose of predicting circumstances that will arise in the future. This is the definition of memory. To say, uh, if one, to say it in another way, if one were to use a more extreme manner, let's see, oh, objects that have been saved and not disposed of that what may one day be of use. However, <laughs> let's see. Give me a second. However, in another sense, memory uh, living organisms can delete memories. In ordinary situations, in comparison to the amount of things remembered, the amount of things forgotten is far greater. As a warehouse's cap capacity is limited, so too are memories. In that case, just where do deleted memories go? It is impossible that important memories could be swept away like rubbish. Allow me to speak off the topic for a little bit. My friend piled scra scrap he was unwilling to throw away in his storehouse. As the, for the scrap he could not pile into his storehouse, he even secretly stored those elsewhere behind his wife's back. Oh. I think I actually skipped the line there, but it's not... Anyway, this is still we're still on topic here. Actually, no, I didn't skip a line. We're good. Even <laughs> even when told to dispose of the scrap, to him those were important treasures. It seems that he cleverly placed all of that scrap in various places. Memories are the same. Even if one assumes they have forgotten the memory, the memory must be stored in some place. Even memories that one cannot perceive can be eh, cleverly and secretly hidden inside a corner of one's inner self. Suppress your breathing, relax your body, and quietly wait for that day when the memory can once again be of use. All that is needed is a little opportunity, and the memory will appear in its true form. As for what that opportunity might be, we will discuss that in next week's column. Shianos B. Xian. And that's it. That's the intro. Let's begin. Oh, sorry, gotta go. Stupid things happen. See you next. Oh, that sucks.
Sorry, I... I translated this beforehand. It's just...